So here we have the fully 3D printed ram bone and you can see there's a lot of bridge material we have to remove and clean up. So I have pliers, files, micro files, sandpaper which is 150, 220 and 320 and also probably the most valuable tool is the X-Acto knife. I really like using this chisel head because it allows me to sort of remove a lot of material at once and I actually was able to find a refill pack that are really inexpensive and I actually use these a lot. They're probably the most valuable type of blade in the entire kit. So if you're able to pick those up, I definitely recommend it. So now we have the fun part, making it look nice and actually useful. So I think that's about as far as I'm going to go because this is still just a prototype. I mean, I made this a little bit larger than what the actual model size is. I think this is 0.2 larger. So if it's one scale, it's a 1.2 scale from the actual. So the reason I did so is because I'm using a 0.5 extruder head. Everything's off by a little bit. So I need to make everything a little bit larger. That's one of the cons of this type of printer. I think that there are stronger prints, but I think the majority of other people are looking for more accuracy, and unfortunately I have to sort of tweak the different designs that I find for free online. So that's one of the downfalls. But I think this is a lot stronger, and I'm going to go ahead and test this out. So in order to hold the arrow in the sling bow, I'm going to be using a whisker biscuit. Now, it's kind of a funny name, but it's a really useful tool. Basically, you let the arrow sit in this little circle here, and then whenever you fire it, the bristles are just kind of there to hold it in place, and it slides right through. Unfortunately, I lost the little bumper here, and it looks like it's made out of some sort of silicon, this one. So I'm gonna see if this moldable glue called Sugru will work. Stick it to the surface and then it shapes, you just kind of shape it into whatever you want it to look like. And then after about 30 minutes, it starts to cure. Let's see if we can get it to replicate what this looks like. It doesn't seem like I have to use very much and I don't want to get the material in the bristles. I think that this actually looks nicer than the original. Since this is gonna go to waste either way, I think I'm just gonna try and apply it to both sides and I think it'll look pretty nice. I'd, I'd rather it be symmetric and not waste the material. That will do the trick. And I think it looks nicer than this one actually. So it's kind of neat to be able to make something possibly even better than the original manufacturer intended. We'll add our whisker biscuit and that'll just sit perfectly right in the center. What I'm thinking about doing is putting the rubber bands through and then I'm gonna put a bolt through both sides of the rubber band and it's gonna hold onto this as well as bite into the 3D print and hold it in place, I'm hoping. So I think that'll look pretty good. What do you guys think? Now I need to attach the band and pouch to my slingshot. There's a couple different options. I'm going to be using the store bot. This has a heavy pull, which just for the sake of time is going to be great. Also, you can go with the more DIY approach and just buy some TheraBand gold or TheraBand blue. In this case, this is what I have here, 
or you could just salvage it from an exercise set of resistance bands and if you're not using them and you have a survival situation, that would be awesome. Now, in a previous video, I created a really simple slingshot if you guys wanna check that out. This is a about $3 project and I'm using this as the fork, which is a hole punch and the hole punch is actually used to create a pouch using duct tape. So I just made a little square rectangle, folded it over a couple of times, made two holes and then attached the TheraBand and created some constrictor knots using some string and it actually worked really well. You just wanna make sure that whenever you attach your bands that you use a sort of wax string, otherwise you might have problems with it actually biting into and tearing the elastic. So, but this is pretty cool. It's a really simple project and I'm thinking of doing more DIY easy projects like this. So if you like that, definitely leave a comment below. And if you haven't seen this video yet, definitely check it out. So here we have the finished sling bow. And I think it came out pretty nice. I ended up using some nylon pieces. These are some washers, some screws, and a zip tie to hold this from wiggling. And that whisker biscuit looks pretty nice along with the silicone Sugru that I added on there for the, the bumpers. So we're gonna go ahead and test this thing out and see what it can do. So we'll start with this one. Let's load it into Whisker Biscuit. Not bad. Be using the one with the zip ties. Now I'm the least confident about this one. Much better. You can see there is some decent momentum that actually moved that little cart there. This one is probably the favorite out of. Oh, completely missed. This um, I'm surprised it hit the wall and it just kind of bent. It doesn't really. I thought it would shatter. Looks like most of the damage was taken by the shaft. So it seems like the last shot was the closest, maybe the first one is actually closest to the center. And unfortunately, <laughs> these tips are pretty much lodged in there forever. I'm gonna go get some needle nose pliers to see if we can get them out. Kind of see them in there way far back. I feel like I'm doing surgery or something. Imagine real arrowheads. I mean, there we go. Wow. So, yeah, it's almost exactly the way. I mean, uh, this tape got a little bit messed up that one and this one's such a so frustrating okay i can see it there we go wow the zip tie one actually went the deepest i don't know but there you go these arrowheads are still useful now, granted it is being shot into a foam block. Compare it to, you know, those vital areas that are soft tissue. These are definitely going to do damage. Gotta love improvised technology. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you for watching and as always, take it easy.